This is All India Radio. In the program Spotlight, we now bring you a discussion on Prime Minister's Man Ki Baat. The participants are Ashok Tandon, political analyst and Aditi Tandon, journalist. In the 91st episode of Man Ki Baat, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi spoke of a host of issues. But most importantly, he dwelt on the importance of this particular year when India will enter the 75th year of independence and which he has aptly called Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. After August 15 this year, we will enter Amrit Kal. Today in his Man Ki Baat program, the Prime Minister spoke with great passion about the role that freedom fighters played in getting the freedom and liberation from the British Raj and also urged all the citizens to hoist the Tiranga on their houses during this period, especially during the Har Ghar Tiranga campaign, which Prime Minister is personally leading, which will be held between August 13 and 15. Ashokji, what do you sense when you hear Prime Minister talking so passionately, so deeply about India's history, about the contributions of India's freedom fighter and the association that he is seeking from each Indian citizen with the Tiranga? Today, the Prime Minister said that he has been discussing with the nation and the people of this country various issues. But this particular, the 91st episode of Man Ki Baat is special. And it's so special as you have also very rightly mentioned some of the things. But this time before this episode was recorded, Prime Minister had particularly asked the countrymen to send him their suggestions. He has invited people to share their ideas and suggestions for this very episode particularly and also the inputs which they want the Prime Minister to mention in the special episode and as you very rightly said the main highlight of the episode was certainly the all the patriotic power but at the same time he also touched upon various other issues like he congratulated the sports persons for their achievement he also congratulated the children who have passed 10th and 12th examination like that but the major takeaway of course was the 75th year of independence and the campaign which he has said that has already become a mass movement the amrit mahotsav is being celebrated all over the country and it is not taking shape of the mass movement and uh, then he started in a very emotional tone that when we celebrate 75 years of independence and in this particular context he said that we are lucky our generation is lucky because when we are celebrating 75 years of our independence and the splendid it's really we all are witnessing a splendid and historic moment and the god has blessed all of us the present generation with this great fortune and then he said that to think about it had we been born in the era of slavery then how would have we imagined this particular day and that yearning of freedom from slavery the desperation for freedom from the shackles of subjugation and how formidable it must have been and those days when every single day would be seeing millions of countrymen fighting, battling, making sacrifices for the sake of freedom. Then we would wake up every morning with this dream of when my India would be free. And maybe that day would dawn in our life when we would dedicate ourselves to the generations to come chanting Vande Matram and Bharat Mata Ki Jai. Now that was a very kind of an emotional touch which the Prime Minister brought in today's Man Ki Baat. And of course he started with tribute to great martyr Shahid Udham Singh. And he said I yeah, offer absolutely. tribute to I like your comments also on the fact that the Prime Minister mentioned a number of railway stations that have been associated with the history of India's freedom struggle. He made a special mention of the Gomo Junction in Jharkhand, which is of course now known as Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose Junction Gomo. And from there, Netaji actually was able to board the Kalka Mail and dodge the British officers when he was escaping. And the second station that he mentioned was the Kakori Railway Station, associated with martyrs like Ram Prasad Bismil and Ashfaqullah Khan. This whole narrative that the Prime Minister has built around Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav and Amrit Kal and the awareness that through this campaign is being generated about places associated with our freedom struggle, railway stations, monuments and so much else. 
certainly because not many people would be knowing that the indian railway in the month of july and they had taken up a very interesting endeavor and undertaking the azadi ki rail gadi and railway station so the objective of this effort as the prime minister said is to make people know the role of indian railways in the freedom struggle and there are many such railway stations in the country which are associated with the history of the freedom of movement but we will be surprised he told countrymen to know about these railway station gomo is very well known railway station junction in jharkhand but not many people knew about the officially known as netaji subhash chandra bose junction as you very rightly said why this name has been given to it and similarly he named the kakori railway station we all know that this is the place from where ram prasad bismil and ashfaqullah khan looted the british treasury so the great revolutionaries had displayed their might to the british by doing this so similarly the station in tamil nadu about the wanchi maniyachai junction and so many other stations all over the country now in the pretty long list 75 such railway stations have been identified and spread over 24 states across the country so these 75 stations are being decorated in a special way many types of programs are also being organized and people particularly the youth should take time out to visit such historical stations in their neighborhood and they will get to know the details about the pages from the history of the freedom movement and then they should also mention all these things in their social media place that was yeah. uh, i think at a particular highlight of yeah in fact what you are saying is uh, what the prime minister said today he said that from august 2 until august 15 every citizen should place the tricolor in their social media profile pictures and post selfies you know to actually flaunt the association with the national flag which binds us together as one country and one important thing that i wanted uh, to bring your attention to mr tandon is this issue of august 2 you know being very important in indian history because it's the birth anniversary of uh, the designer of the national flag pingali venkaiya ji actually under the azadi ka amrit mahotsav from the 13th to the 15th of august a special movement har ghar tiranga har ghar tiranga is being organized by becoming a part of this movement and therefore every citizen must hoist the tricolor at their homes or adorn your home with tricolor so tricolor connects us inspires us to do something for the country as you very rightly mentioned the 2nd of august to 15th of august all of us can place tricolor in our social media platform and then you very well, rightly said why 2nd of august is important and uh, in that context he said the, the biggest message that emerges from all these events being organized in the azadi ka amrit mahotsav is that all of us all should follow our duty with full devotion only then we will be able to fulfill the dreams of those countless freedom fighters and to build the india of their dreams that is why this amrit call is our next 25 years is you know kartavya ka a period of duty for every countryman ashok ji when you are mentioning the duty is i am um, tempted to mention the acceptance and that assumption speech by president draupadi murmu when she was taking her oath one particular sentence that stood out uh, in her entire speech she said was sabka prayas sabka kartavya desh ko aage le jayega of course the prime minister modi's slogan has been sabka saath sabka vikas sabka prayas president robati murmu has added sabka kartavya it's very significant because see government's job is to do whatever it can do for the welfare and emancipation of the poor society but this duty part is for the countrymen to observe so that's why duty has also become very very significant and uh, you know apart from this pm also talked about uh, the corona which he said is still there world is still struggling about it and in that context he said that the increasing interest of people in holistic health care also help everyone a lot in this and you know as uh, how useful indian tradition medicine has been 
and in the fight against corona ayush he said has played an important role at the global level apart from what you are mentioning uh, you know the importance of the ayush sector and the rising exports of the ayush sector and the verbal herbarium also the prime minister in his uh, man ki baat episode ashok ji also spoke at length about the many festivals you know of india especially of um, the chamba mela which is called the minjar mela which is associated with the inflorescence of the maize plant and then he also spoke of the other festivals that we have the mahasu devta awakening festival that we see in himachal at shimla and he urged people to you know go and visit the mavli mela he spoke of you know the chatisgarh state which is also very special and then the bhagoria mela of madhya pradesh which he said was very famous so a lot of festivals that are taking place related to our culture certainly you know these festivals particularly for the younger generation you know they connect them with our roots our culture our heritage and that is very significant for the younger generation to do that and they should not only visit these melas but also put their experiences on the social media platform you know another very significant thing which he mentioned today was uh, the honey the honey culture which is developing now and it is changing the lives of our farmers increasing their income as well and he gave the example that in yamuna nagar haryana there lives a bee keeper friend subhash kamboj and he said he underwent training in bee keeping in a very scientific way and uh, then he started his own work and just six boxes today he is engaged in bee keeping using about 2000 boxes his honey is supplied across many states and he is also bee keeping in more than 1 and a half thousand colonies in pali village in jammu and he has also undertaken training in rearing the queen bee last year yeah basically the prime minister's message to the farmers and also the youth was that there is a lot of scope in indian iu sector of which honey is a very important part and also the fact that he mentioned the rising power of india's uh, toy exports because you see the indian uh, toy exports have gone up considerably and ashok ji prime minister has earlier also spoken of the importance of uh, domestic toy making and uh, we also know that a lot of chinese toys that were coming into india have now been discouraged imports have been restricted largely yes of course uh, it has been uh, a very important uh, segment of prime minister's overall approach towards startups and he gave statistics how much uh, money is being spent in importing toys from abroad now the things have reversed it is other way around now indian toys are being exported and earning a lot of money see toy is one industry which starts from the cottage and village industry and now because of uh, the modern technology and uh, toys are becoming popular everywhere you know the it has tremendous potential and in fact he used the word if we use our full potential it becomes a power house in toy exports and he said that yeah. it's a rich heritage of india in sports and games also so the local toys of india are eco friendly you know both tradition and nature he said i want to share with you the success of indian toys to our youngsters startups entrepreneurs and it's an industry which is generating employment and it becomes indian toys the echo of vocal for local is being heard everywhere and if we fly code the figures he gave that earlier toys were more than 3000 crores used to come from abroad and now their imports has reduced by 70% and it's a matter of joy that during this period india has exported toys worth more than 2600 crore absolutely rupees. i would like you to just quickly comment in a line on prime minister's continued focus on indian sports and how he lauded our athletes pv sandhu who has won her singapore open just now neeraj chopra who continues with his excellent performance and also the superb performance of our athlete suraj during the greco roman event you know where he won the gold medal of wrestling so just a quick comment on that yes of course and this also he has been using invariably in all his man ki baat he never forgets to praise indian sports person and as late as commonwealth games in birmingham and he mentioned the glory the country by winning 11 medals in the para badminton international well and you know so many world wrestlers and all these but he did not forget to congratulate the students and young boys and girls 
who have passed out from 10th and 12th exam thank you very much sir for your time ashok ji thank you very much you were listening to a discussion on prime minister's man ki baat the participants were ashok tandon political analyst and aditi tandon journalist this program was produced and presented by the news services division of all india radio you can listen to it on our mobile app news on air this program is also available on our youtube channel news on air official you may email your opinion about this program at airnsdtalks@gmail.com at